job interview outside of the office 2020. In this video, I'm going to tell you how 2020 snuck up on us and now job interviews outside of the office are completely different than they were viewed pre-COVID, pre-coronavirus era. So today I am going to tell you the pros and cons of interviewing outside of the office in this new normal and what you should do. What up fam? Dr. James W. Stalkup, aka Jimmy Joe Coltrane. You know, I'm like the Benjamin Franklin of getting you Benjamin Franklin's and I do it through teaching you how to job interview. Let's get started. So yo, I'm going to be honest, I did a video like this before and it does not hold up. Now that there's a global pandemic of coronavirus, the interview outside of the office in 2020 is dramatically different. It's viewed different. It's got different risk profile. I mean, I, I can't believe we're actually in an era where we're talking about the risk of being interviewed for a job. But there's a risk, right? There's a health risk to you actually doing the job interview. So yo, Coltrane, why not do it virtual? Well... It is done virtual. A lot are done virtual. Haven't you seen my videos? I've got all these videos on setting a virtual job interview set, how to stage your virtual interview, the lining, the audio, how to make it look perfect. And yes, your appearance is completely replaced by your virtual prowess, your proficiency in actually doing these interviews. But at some point, someone is going to want to meet with you in person. I hope it's at your first day of work. But someone may want to physically interview you during this process. So how does that happen? Pre 2020, most interviews outside of the office, I thought were super risky because they're creepy, lonely people who just want to interview you. And it's not just the ladies. Your boy Coltrane has had some creepers come after me on LinkedIn as well. Shout out to the creepers. Also, some of y'all didn't have a chance. But let's back it up to the top. So why would someone want to interview you outside of an office setting? Most common reason, they don't have an office. If they're working from home or have a home-based business, they're not going to interview you in their home. Likewise, they may have a business that is not suitable to have a person come in and interview. It could be loud. It could be hot. It could be cold. It could smell bad. Who knows what it is? So that may be a good reason to be interviewed outside of the office. So the first thing we want to do for the job interview outside of the office is don't let it happen. Try to do everything virtually. It is perfectly acceptable for you to say, I want to minimize my exposure to coronavirus by interviewing virtually if I can. Of course, at later rounds of the interview, if it looks like there is a significant probability of me working there, I would be happy to interview in person, but I would not like to do initial selections based on an in-person interview. If someone said that to me, I would be so impressed. Work up a little script that you can tell people. People who own their own businesses work when they're sick. They will go to work with coronavirus. They will give it to you. Try to do it virtual. Now, if either you're at an advanced point in the interview process where it's time to do it in person, or if that is just their preference, you're going to have to make a decision. So your decision is going to be, do I want to go through with this or do I not want to go through with this? Human beings are still human beings, even though it is 2020. So let me say, if it seems that there is any possibility of a romantic or sexual reason for the interview being outside of the office in a social setting, say no. First off, it may just be a creepy advance. Secondly, even if you get the job, you don't really need to be working somewhere where your supervisor would be making a creepy advance towards you. The majority of the time, it's not creepy. The majority of the time, it's a legitimate job interview. And this is where it starts to get weird in 2020. So before, I would have said never meet on a patio. Like the concept of meeting with somebody professionally on a patio creeps me out to no end. I don't want to be your buddy. I just want to get the bag. I don't want to be your friend. I want to get money from you in exchange for labor. But now if you meet outside with them, that is dramatically safer than you meeting inside a building with them because the air is moving. It is moving the virus out of your way. 
I would clarify if they're willing to wear a mask during the interview. Some areas have mask mandates, some areas don't. And it is perfectly acceptable for you to say, sure, I would prefer to interview outside if we can for safety reasons. And I would also prefer that we both wear masks. Now, these are preconditions that didn't exist, you know, several months ago. But I do think that that's reasonable for you to say. It may be a little demonstration of higher value as well, because you're saying to them, look, I want a job, but I'm not desperate. I'm not going to put myself in harm's way to get a job. The negatives of this strategy are numerous. There are distractions. There are other people being loud. There are people who are going to invariably be drinking and having either a little or a lot of fun during this process. I met with a pharmacist one time on a patio and like a full-blown domestic violence event occurred like two tables over from us. I don't like eating in front of someone. It gives you an opportunity to get food in your teeth, food on your shirt, sauce on your mouth. It gives you a whole variety of ways in which to fail with that obstacle from everything and how you use your silverware to where you put your napkin. Do you put your elbows on the table? What do they consider good table manners and bad table manners? They bring your food out first or your food out second. And somebody's waiting for the other person's food. I don't like any of that. Yo, I'm not here to eat in front of you. I'm here to get the bag. And alcohol. So alcohol is a bad idea. And this gets into this thing about the obstacle. So the interviewer, the obstacle, as I like to call them, um, is frequently very lonely. Like think about Michael Scott. This is one thing that the office really nailed. Think about Michael Scott and how lonely and starved for attention he is. A lot of people who are going to be interviewing you are like that. So I do not like the thought of drinking alcohol. Now, you may personally drink alcohol. But even if you drink alcohol, you may not want to hang out with lonely managers who you don't know. You probably don't want to hang out with them. My out of the office time is so valuable, I can't even imagine wanting to meet after hours to do anything. I got YouTube videos to make. So my alcohol advice is this. Figure out before you go if you're willing or not willing to drink alcohol. If you get any kind of creepy vibe, don't drink alcohol. And if you do drink alcohol, get a drink and sit there with that drink almost untouched the entire night. That signifies, yes, I'm engaging in the social convention and I do have alcohol in front of me, but I'm not interested in partying with you and I'm not going to get drunk. And if they say, oh, you've hardly touched your drink, you just say, man, I don't drink very much. So to sum up, I can't really tell you what to do. I can't tell you exactly what to do. I can give you a little bit of information that will help guide your decisions, but you're going to have to figure out your own personal risk tolerance. I would say virtual, if you can at all, if you do need to meet somewhere, I would prefer to meet outside. I would prefer for both parties to wear masks and I don't want any food, drink, nor alcohol. I'm not there to make friends. I'm there to get paid. Hey, take a moment, click like and click subscribe if you like the content of these videos. And thank you very much for watching.